Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery. Today I'm going to show you how to use an E6B whiz wheel to calculate your estimated time and route based on the distance between legs and your true airspeed that the aircraft is flying at. So in this scenario for our cross-country flight from Laconia Airport to Auburn Lewiston, Maine, we've already determined our course heading and we've determined our lengths of our legs along the route between waypoints and we've determined our ground speed. What we need to do is determine our estimated time and route between the various waypoints. Between Laconia and Top of Climb, we've already determined it by looking at the POH that it's going to be about a 16 uh, distance um, to travel to the Top of Climb, and it's going to take us 12 minutes by just again looking at the performance charts for a climb in the pilot operating handbook for the Piper Warrior that we're flying. But for the rest of the legs or waypoint spa spacing, we need to determine what the time and route is. We've got our distance and we've got our ground speed. Um, and the ground speeds that we've calculated, we can use our E6B to determine what the time is between the legs along the route. So the first thing I want you to do is to look at this set of instructions here. We want to put the triangle underneath our ground speed. And with that, we can then look on the outer ring to determine the distance or of the leg that we're flying to determine our time and route between legs. So in this scenario, we are flying 121 knots ground speed. So we're going to put the arrow under 121 knots right there. So without moving the whiz wheel such that our triangle stays underneath the 121 knots, we're going to go look at the number four zero or in this case really four nautical miles and we look down at the middle set of numbers here the inner um, arc of numbers and we see two so we know it's not going to take us or we see two zero we know it's not going to take us 20 minutes to go four nautical miles at 121 knots it's going to take us two minutes and so we're going to record two minutes right in here on our VR navigation log then the next leg is 15 nautical miles. So we're going to, again, while maintaining the triangle underneath the ground speed of 121 knots, we're just going to move this and look at the outer ring for 15, 15 nautical miles, and see what we see for a time underneath. 70, 80, we know it's not 70 or 80 minutes, it's going to be seven, between 7 and 8 minutes, or roughly 7 and a half minutes. So we're going to record that time. Next, we're going to look at the number 12 and see that it's showing the 60 underneath it. And so we know it's going to take approximately 6 minutes to go um, the 12 miles. So put the 6 in here. And then lastly, we have 10 nautical miles. We look at the 10, we look underneath, it looks like it's take us about 5 minutes. So we'll add these times up and we'll know what our total length of time is for this trip. So the total length and time to go from Laconia to Auburn, Lewiston, Maine, based on these wind conditions and flying at 121 ground speed, uh, plus the 79 ground speed for the initial top of climb, works out to 32 and a half minutes. So that's all there is to it to using an E6B whiz wheel for estimating time and route between waypoints on a cross-country flight plan. Once you know the ground speed, all you do is set the triangle up uh, underneath the ground speed which is on the outer ring of the E6B and then just pick off the points. You look at the outer ring for the distances you're going to travel between the waypoints and the middle ring you're going to look or the inner ring you're going to look to determine the estimated time and route between those waypoints. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button for this video and if you like hit the notification bell so you can notify when I come out with my next video.